Have you ever wondered if miracles still happen in our modern, rational world? In an age where science and technology reign supreme, the idea of divine intervention might seem like a relic of the past. Yet, there are stories, real and profoundly moving, that suggest otherwise. These aren't just ancient tales or myths, but real experiences of people living in the same world as you and me. Today, we're diving into the extraordinary, real-life stories of God's intervention in modern times. Stories that challenge our skepticism, that invite us to look beyond what we can see, measure, and explain. From inexplicable healings to unanticipated protection in times of danger, these accounts bring a sense of wonder and awe. They compel us to question our understanding of reality and to consider the possibility of a higher power actively involved in our lives. So, sit back and prepare to embark on a journey through the miraculous, a journey that may just change the way you view the world around you. Before we delve into these remarkable stories, let's take a moment to understand what a miracle truly means. In theological terms, a miracle is an event that defies the laws of nature, an act of God that points towards His power and presence. The Bible is filled with such occurrences, from Moses parting the Red Sea to Jesus healing the sick. But do such wonders still occur today? Let's explore. In many religious traditions, miracles are seen as a sign of the divine, a way for God to communicate with humanity, to guide, to teach, and sometimes, to warn. They are moments where the veil between the divine and the mundane seems to thin, revealing a glimpse of a greater power at work. Yet, in our modern era, where empirical evidence is king, miracles are often met with skepticism. How do we reconcile these seemingly opposing views? As we journey through these stories, we'll see that miracles aren't just about bending the rules of nature. They are about the profound impact on those who experience them, a reminder of hope, a testament to faith, and sometimes, a call to change. They challenge us to look beyond our limited perspective, to consider the mysterious and the unexplainable. So, as we share these stories of modern miracles, we invite you to keep an open mind, to ponder the possibility that there's more to this world than what meets the eye. Our first story takes us to a quaint, unassuming small town in Texas. Here, we meet Florine, a school teacher beloved by her community. She was the kind of person who always had a smile to share, even when life got tough. And tough it got when she was diagnosed with a terminal illness. The news shook her family and friends, and the prognosis was grim. Yet, through it all, Florine's faith remained unshaken. She continued to teach, to smile, to pray. Then, something miraculous happened. After attending a prayer meeting, where the whole community came together to pray for her, Sarah went for her routine medical checkup. To everyone's disbelief, the doctors could find no trace of the illness. It was a baffling turn of events, leaving even the most skeptical medical professionals speechless. Florine's recovery became a beacon of hope, a story shared far and wide, inspiring those who heard it to believe in the impossible. Next, we travel across the ocean to the Philippines, a beautiful country known for its vibrant culture and, unfortunately, its natural disasters. In a small coastal village, a family of five found their world turned upside down when a devastating typhoon struck. With the storm raging around them, their home was quickly becoming a death trap. Floodwaters rose, winds howled, and it seemed as though all hope was lost. With no way out and help hours away, the family huddled together, praying for a miracle. As they braced for the worst, something extraordinary happened. Despite the widespread destruction, their home was spared the full fury of the storm. They survived with minimal harm, a solitary beacon amidst a landscape of chaos. When rescue teams arrived, they were astonished to find the family safe. This remarkable story spread throughout the region, a testament to divine protection and the power of faith in the face of overwhelming odds. Our final story unfolds on the bustling streets of New York. John, once a successful businessman, found himself homeless and without hope after a series of unfortunate events. One cold evening, as he sat on a park bench, a stranger approached him. Instead of passing by, the stranger sat down and struck up a conversation. They talked for hours, and by the end of it, the stranger offered John a job at his company. This chance meeting turned out to be a turning point for John. 
he believes it was no coincidence, but a divine appointment that brought them together. Today, John is back on his feet, and he uses his story to inspire others, showing that sometimes, the help we need comes in the most unexpected ways. These stories, while incredible, are more than just tales of hope. They echo the biblical narrative of a God who intervenes. Just as Jesus fed the 5,000 and calmed the storm, these modern instances remind us of a God who is actively involved in our lives. In Florine's healing, we see a reflection of the countless healings Jesus performed, a testament to the enduring power of faith and prayer. The family in the Philippines, protected from the storm, brings to mind the disciples on the stormy sea, saved by Jesus' command. And John's unexpected provision in New York mirrors the biblical stories of providence, such as the widow of Zarephath, who received sustenance in her time of need. These aren't just isolated or random incidents, they are part of a larger narrative that spans centuries. A narrative of hope, redemption, and the ongoing presence of the divine in the human story. They challenge us to reconsider our understanding of the world and to acknowledge the possibility that there is more to our existence than what is immediately visible. So, what can we take away from these stories? First, the importance of faith and prayer. They're not just rituals but powerful acts of belief. In every story, faith played a central role. It was the light in the darkness, the anchor in the storm. These stories encourage us to foster a deeper faith, one that stands firm in the face of trials. Second, always keep your heart and eyes open. Miracles can be big or small, but they're always significant. They often occur when least expected, in ways we might not immediately recognize. These stories invite us to be more attentive to the world around us, to look for the divine in everyday life. Finally, these stories remind us of the power of community and compassion. In each story, the miracle was tied to the presence and actions of others, a prayer group, a stranger, a family. It's a call to us to be agents of change, to be open to helping others and to accept help when we need it. In doing so, we become part of someone else's miracle, a beautiful cycle of giving and receiving that reflects the very heart of the divine. Do you have a story of a miracle in your life? We would love to hear about it. Share your experiences in the comments below. Your stories are not just personal anecdotes, they are powerful testimonies that can inspire and uplift others. By sharing, you contribute to a community of faith and hope, encouraging others to see the extraordinary in the ordinary. And if these stories have touched your heart, if they have opened your eyes to the possibilities of divine intervention, please consider sharing this video with others. Let's spread the message of hope and the reality of miracles far and wide. Your sharing could be the miracle someone needs today, a beacon of light in their moment of darkness. As we conclude this journey, let's take a moment to reflect. Remember, we live in a world where science and faith coexist. These stories of miracles, these glimpses of divine intervention, remind us that there is still room for wonder, for the unexplainable, for the divine in our lives. They challenge us to keep our hearts open to the possibilities of what lies beyond our understanding. Keep believing, keep hoping, and keep witnessing the miracles around you. Whether it's a sunrise that takes your breath away, an unexpected act of kindness, or a recovery against all odds, miracles are a reminder that life is a tapestry of the mundane and the magnificent. They encourage us to live with a sense of awe and gratitude, to appreciate the mystery and beauty of our existence. Thank you for joining us on this journey of faith and wonder. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more. Your engagement helps us reach more people and spread stories of hope and inspiration. Stay tuned for more inspiring content, and remember, miracles are all around us, sometimes in the places we least expect. By staying connected with us, you become a part of a community that celebrates the extraordinary in everyday life. So, keep an eye out for our next video, and in the meantime, keep looking for those moments of wonder that remind us of the beauty and mystery of our world.